If your Merge for Amazon account looks like this, then by the end of the video, you will have learned plenty of steps that you can take to make it look more like this. Getting out of tier 10 isn't easy, but I'm going to share nine simple tips with you, some of which nobody talks about, that you can use to get there faster. I'm also going to show you a free method of how to find trending niches that you should be selling in, and on top of that, at the end of the video, I'll share my personal story with you of how I got out of tier 10 faster, and it's a strategy that you can use as well. So first of all, one of the best things you can do to get sales faster in the lower tiers is by cross-niching very popular evergreen niches with hot trends at the moment. And I'm going to show you some examples of this to explain what I mean further. So the first example I've got for you is this t-shirt right here. It's got a rainbow, very simple design with some text. And what it's doing is, is combining three different niches. First of all, we've got the big evergreen niche of tacos. Then we've got the trend of Pride Month. Currently, Pride t-shirts are selling really well. Then also, this is aimed specifically at lesbians. So you've got three different niches right there, in a sense, combined into one design, and it's trending right now. So this is why this shirt is selling so well. And it also shows if you type in the main keywords that are first in the title into Amazon, because there's only 500 results for this search term, and a lot of these t-shirts have really good BSR. So 12,000 there, 53,000, 100,000, those are all really low. The lower the number, the better the shirts are selling. This is the sort of niches you want to look for. You either want a thousand or less results, around 500 and less is even better, and then make sure that the shirts are actually selling well within that niche and you found yourself a great pocket of opportunity to upload some designs. More examples of this would be this t-shirt right here where someone's combined fishing, that's the big evergreen niche, with dad, so with aiming at Father's Day with that. And we've got an American flag in the design. So you could also see this as a 4th of July t-shirt, which is another trend that's coming up soon after Father's Day. So you've once again got three different niches, two of them being trends, and one of them being a big evergreen niche. So, and I actually had a different design the other day that I created myself of a popular boating niche that I cross niched with July the 4th and with Father's Day. And that t-shirt design got a sale the day after uploading it to Merch for Amazon and also on TeePublic. So it is definitely possible to get some quick sales with this method. Tip number two is a shorter one and it may seem a bit obvious, but pricing your t-shirts as low as possible is very important and I'll show you why. So when people are looking for a t-shirt on Amazon, a lot of them will probably use the sort by feature to change this from featured to price low to high because people just want to get bargains on here. That's what Amazon is known for, you can get cheap stuff quickly. And if you filter this by price low to high, then you'll quickly notice that the first t-shirts that show up are priced at 1307. That's the lowest price you can enter while you upload to Merch for Amazon. That way you can basically get the first spot for those people who are looking for bargains. Next up, I've got a quick tip for you in regards to uploading your t-shirt designs, and that is how many colors you select. Now, a lot of people select as many colors as possible. You have the option to choose 10 colors. I used to do this a lot as well, because I thought, well, the more colors there are, the more likely someone's going to find the color that they like and make a purchase. But a lot of times this could actually be hindering you in making sales, because if you have a lot of choice, more choice than you really need. It's going to make it harder for some people to actually pick a color. And then with this sort of overload of options, they just click off and they don't end up buying. If you only give the customer some of the most popular colors that most people like, such as black, asphalt, and navy, then they only have three choices. They think, oh, I don't really like gray, but black looks good. And they go for black and they're done. So as you can see right there, there's not much thinking that has to take place to make that choice of finding your color. If there's 10 options, someone might sit there for five minutes thinking, oh, which color should I choose? And they'll end up not choosing the t-shirt at all because they can't make up their mind. So definitely try and stick to sort of three to five colors. Royal is also a popular one. 
Tip number four would be to take advantage of free resources. And this would be helpful for you if you're just starting out with graphic design, for example, and you feel like your t-shirts aren't really living up to the competition out there. If you want to level up your t-shirt designs, you could go on Google Fonts, for example, where you can download any fonts for free and use them in your commercial projects or, well, in our case, on t-shirt designs. Another thing you do is go to the website called Public Domain Vectors. This site has a lot of different free graphics that you can download and use in your t-shirt designs that help you save time and also allow you to use high quality graphics that you might not be able to create yourself yet. Moving on from that, I've got another little strategy that you could be using to make some easy sales quickly. And for this, I'm going to tell you a story because last year I found a trend in, I think, a, a trend video on YouTube called Jewish Space Lasers. And it sounds ridiculous, and it really is. I, I don't really know where it came from. I'm guessing someone just mentioned that phrase in the news somewhere, and it was sort of popular for a few days and then people just forgot about it and what I thought is at the time this is not going to be a massive trend probably won't make a lot of money of this but I think it'd be fun to create a space themed design around this and it might pick up a few sales because it's just a smaller trend that not a lot of people will bother entering and that's exactly what happened I, I made a few t-shirts I put them up there I think I, I maybe got like 10 sales in a month from this so nothing crazy but 10 sales is what you need to get off tier 10 so what you should learn from the story is it's not always necessary to enter niches or trends like Father's Day, July the 4th, Halloween, you know, those massive trends that 90, if not 95% of people will enter if they're thinking, oh, how am I gonna make sales? Let's enter these big trends because they get a lot of sales. But sometimes getting into these micro trends, which not a lot of people will bother with, gives you an edge because there'll be less search results and it'll be easier to pick up some sales quickly, which is really all you need because who cares if the design stops selling after a month? If you've got new 10 sales and you're out of tier 10, cool, you can be happy with that. So for this next tip, Milo's going to join me. Uh, he just wanted to come and say hello to you. And basically tip number six is don't ignore the UK market. When I started out, I actually found a really good niche, just an evergreen niche on the British market that I entered and I'm still getting sales to this date in it. Similarly to the last point, 90% of people will think American marketplace, it's got the most visitors, it gets the most sales, let's jump on that. But because a lot of people don't focus on the UK market as much as the US, there's also some gaps of potential there. Do take a look at maybe niches that sell in the US, check out if they have many results in the UK, see if there's shirts with low BSRs with lots of reviews, and if you find a good niche, then try and enter that one, and you might end up getting a lot of sales that you wouldn't have got in the US because the competition is a lot higher there. Tip number seven is another quick and short one, and it's the thumbnail color of your t-shirt. So if we scroll through this gaming niche, there is, as we can see, a lot of shirts that are on black. So one way to stand out in this niche, for example, might be to upload some t-shirt designs that don't have the black color selected and that might come on this asphalt color rather than just black. Even a white t-shirt might work. So turn off all the other colors, just upload it to white. And that way it just stands out a bit in all of these black shirts. And it's going to depend on your niche. I mean, some of the niches might have a lot of variety in terms of thumbnail t-shirt colors but if you found a trend and all of the shirts are just black upload a few that are on white shirts it might really help you stand out and I've done this myself before I've even got a shirt that's on red and it's doing sales regularly so definitely a method to try out if you haven't done it before Tip number eight I've got for you today would be to look for design inspiration on other websites besides Amazon. What I mean by that is, let's say you found a trend, you found a niche you want to enter, and you're not sure what designs to create. So look on Redbubble, look on Etsy. There's plenty of top selling t-shirts on those websites as well, which might not exist 
on Amazon. And if you create a similar design to those top sellers on Redbubble, for example, put it onto Amazon, you might get a lot of sales there. And the reason I wanted to share this with you is because one of my top selling designs, I found it on Redbubble, or I found the idea for it on Redbubble. You could replicate this process. It might work for you, it might not, but it's definitely worth trying it out because I think it's a, a process that not enough people use to try and get new ideas, new inspiration, and potential top sellers. So tip number nine is for those of you who are thinking about buying your own t-shirts just to get out of tier 10 quicker. This is a valid method of what you can do to get some sales quickly, just buy your own shirts. But what you might not think about is it's a good idea to pretend to be a potential customer. And the way to do this is Say for example, you've got a cycling design aimed at dads for Father's Day. Then go onto Amazon, search for cycling shirt for dads, just browse through the pages, wait until you find your design, add it to the cart and buy it. That way the Amazon algorithm will actually think, hang on, someone used these keywords and they bought this shirt, let's promote it to other people who are searching for similar stuff. If you use the search engine on Amazon like a normal customer would, then you're also teaching Amazon who might want to buy your stuff and you can potentially make more sales of that shirt in the future. Now I'm going to show you different ways of how to find trending niches totally for free for Merge by Amazon. And you only need a few tools for this. The first one is DS Amazon Quick View. I'll leave a link to this down below in the description, as well as the other tools. And this will help us see the BSR ranking of products. Then we're going to need this website by Merge Informer. It's called Merge Research, and it will just help us search Amazon and filter out Merge by Amazon t-shirts rather than showing the entire catalog of clothing. Then Last but not least, we've got Productor, which is another cool Chrome extension or browser extension for Merge by Amazon. We use this to check for trademarks to make sure we don't get rejections and we keep our accounts safe. So once you're ready, go to Merge Research and just leave everything as it is by default and then hit search. This is going to bring up the best selling t-shirts right now from Merge by Amazon. It shows right here in the BSRs, which are in the thousands. If you don't see results right here, it's most likely because you're not from America and you need to select an American delivery address. So I'm not from Austin, but I've just put an address from Austin in there so that I can actually see the t-shirts that are available to people in the US. And while you're scrolling through this, you will see patterns, most likely, of t-shirts that are selling within the same niche. So at the moment, we're seeing a lot of Juneteenth designs selling really well and this is indicating that there's a trend so Juneteenth is just around the corner that's why everyone's buying these t-shirts and don't just do a broad Juneteenth design look further for sub niches or cross niching opportunities so one thing I've noticed is there's this t-shirt here for Juneteenth which shows a boy and most of the designs before this didn't they all were sort of female centric so maybe targeting boys in this niche is an opportunity there's also this one i paused my game to celebrate juneteenth and sometimes you just need to take that main phrase copy it paste it back into this merge research tab and hit search and then as you can see there's a thousand results for i paused my game to celebrate juneteenth so it's significantly less results than the parent niche of juneteenth but it's still quite a lot so i would be looking for something that's either below a thousand anything below 500 is a really good niche to try attack this one's maybe not ideal although a lot of t-shirts are selling well so maybe you can find an idea to cross niche even further so here it's gaming and juneteenth maybe you'll find a way to add something else in there to make it three big niches crossed over and that way you could potentially pick up some sales in this niche as well another thing you could do to find niches or trends is changing this filter right here from featured to newest arrivals and what's that going to do is it's going to show us the t-shirts that have been posted most recently and you will notice that most of these don't have a bsr rank that's because they haven't sold yet the goal here is to scroll through until you find a t-shirt that does have a bsr and obviously that's always a good sign if a t-shirt that's been recently posted has sold so for example this t-shirt i just came about i'm sorry you're straight is sold and it was just posted on june 13th copy the the main phrase head back to the merch research tool paste that in here and search 
as we can see there's very low results for this niche but if we have a bit of a look into it most of these have not sold so while it's a small niche don't know if there's much potential here because a lot of the t-shirts just haven't sold at all. Let's just imagine this was a niche with sales in it. What you want to do next then is to head onto your Merch by Amazon account, paste your phrase into the title right here, and then hit this trademark check button by Productor, the free plugin I mentioned before, and wait for it to whirl through. Hopefully it will come up as green like this case. That means it's safe to sell on t-shirts. If this comes up as red and it shows the trademark, like if I put Nike in here, it should warn me the word Nike is trademarked. As we can see right here, it's gone red. In that case, then you wouldn't be able to enter that niche. And now we've come to the part where I'm going to tell you my story of how I got out of tier 10 faster. And it's a very easy method that any of you could replicate. All you need is friends and family. And what I basically did is I messaged a lot of my friends, I messaged some of my family members and I said, look, I've started this new thing. I'm really passionate about it, but I need some help from you and I'll give you something in return. And I said, do you need some custom t-shirts? I will design them for you. I'll do whatever you want, whether it is for your partner's birthday, Day or for your football team, your gaming team, anything like that, I'll help you create a cool design. You don't have to do anything other than buy the t-shirts for a cheap price. I would price them as low as possible and for example one of my friends being in the army, his sort of squad or roommates, they all had an emblem and they wanted to wear it on a t-shirt. So that way I got, I think it was over 10 sales just from my friend and his squad mates in the army. And you might think, well if I message my friends about this they're not going to be interested they'll think I'm just weird with this merch by Amazon thing what does that even mean but really in the most cases when I message people they were really happy about the offer and even though some of them didn't want any t-shirts a lot of them did so I hope these tips can really help you tear up faster and what's going to make your new knowledge even more powerful is watching this video where I show you how to write a merch by Amazon listing and also which keywords to choose to get more sales